So this video shows how you can use your Arduino Uno with Tinkercad. So if you're a newbie who has just uh, started to learn Arduino, so Tinkercad is a very useful application. Let me quickly open uh, Tinkercad and I have already made a sample schematics here. I'm just going to quickly show you how everything works here on Tinkercad. It's very basic. You can create an account and start using it. It's for free. I'm just going to show you how you can uh, quickly make simple projects with Tinkercad. So this is the area where you create the circuit diagram and you have all the components uh, which you can use for the simulation here. So as you can see, there are a lot of components, actually not a lot of components, but most of the pop ones like PIR sensor, ultrasonic sensor, LDR, flex sensor, everything is available here. So I have already taken an Arduino Uno uh, LCD display which already has the I2C thing uh, enabled in it and then I have also done some connections so making connections is also very simple you just select the component put it here and then I have not connected this SCL wire yet so let me show you how to connect just click on here you will get a wire go to where you want to make the connection kick there and then if you want to rearrange the wires just double click anywhere you will get a node just slide it and that's it so making connections is also very easy now i already have an Arduino you know with me as, along with a temperature sensor and lcd as well but let's first do the simulation here and then build it in actual hardware and see how the code works in simulation and in actual hardware so uh, that being said, let me show you how you can write the code for this Arduino Uno here. So this is the code segment. I have already written the code. Now the explanation for this code can be found in the blog if you want to know what each line in this code does. So basically I have connected an LM35 and LCD display. I'm reading the temperature from the LM35 and displaying it on the LCD. I'm just showing this as a demo project to show how the Tinkercad simulation works. So I have written the code and to start the simulation, all we have to do is click on start simulation button here and as you can see it says temperature monitoring and it also shows the temperature here in serial monitor so right now it says 74.1 now where is this getting the temperature it is just a simulated value if you double click here you can see that you can vary the value of the temperature and the Arduino actually uh, reads it and displays it but in real time you will get the real time temperature of course so now we have the code we have checked if this code is working for this circuit we have our simulated it and seen if everything is working fine so the next step is to take the Arduino along with all other components and make the connection which is exactly what I have done here. So just like in the simulation over here, we have our Arduino Uno, then we have our LCD along with the I2C display module. So what we have done is we have taken an LCD display and have soldered the I2C display module onto it so that we get only these uh, four I2C pins. And then of course we have our temperature sensor, which is LM35 and just like shown here we have made the connections to our Arduino you know as well now i'll do the same i already have the code here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this code open Arduino ide and paste the code into Arduino ide and going to use a programming cable like uh, this one so i'm just going to upload the code into this Arduino you know and see if the same code works as well Okay, so here it is. I'll press the reset button to show you the working. Uh, before that, let me also open the simulation. So here we have the simulation and here we have the actual hardware. Let me press the reset button. I have some loose connections here, but press the reset button. And you can see temperature monitoring and then the actual temperature from the sensor is also displayed here. So I am in an air conditioned room, so it shows 25.88. Okay, now it's changing. But uh, from this, you can see that the result that we got on the simulation and the result that we get on the actual hardware is same. This is really cool because you can uh, test your connections, test your code before even having the hardware with you. You can test everything here. And then when you receive everything, you just have to make sure you follow the same connections and upload the code and everything will work just like that so that's it thanks for watching have a nice day